Scottish independence is key for me because to achieve the things that we need for Scotland, we need that independence. We can't rely on Westminster to do the right things when it comes to the climate, when it comes to jobs, when it comes to the NHS. We need Scotland to have all its own powers to do these things itself. The, the issues facing the poorest people in Glasgow are no different from the, the poorest people in Liverpool, Manchester or elsewhere around the whole of the country or in Belfast. So we need to tackle those issues. Uh, we've had enough of constitutional uh, politics at this point in time. We need to focus on social and economic uh, policies and that's what Labour is promising to do. I think uh, the, the issue of independence at this point in time is a distraction. We need to start tackling poverty. There's four million children in poverty in Britain and that's should be the number one priority, not constitutional issues. I think it would be difficult. I think it really would be difficult. I think uh, as an individual, I, I, because I work for a national, a national organisation and, and we have lots of connections with England and, and the rest of the rest of Britain and the rest of Europe as well. I think it would be difficult for me as an individual to, to be totally independent. But I like, the, I like the idea, but I don't know if it would work in reality. It's, I feel like it's a hugely impact for the construction industry personally. Uh, we gain a lot of labour from uh, the EU uh, and without that labour or, or even the supply of materials, it will push prices up of houses and uh, construction in general, which will actually impact the people even more, so not great. <laughs> I just think we should work together. I think we should work together in the UK as well as in Europe. I'm very much against uh, Brexit, as you can see from the leaflets I'm handing out.